Hi friends, it's Monica and today I'm going to be sharing some books that I'm really looking forward to. So I'm going to be discussing some books that are releasing in the first half of 2022. I'm going to be dividing my books into a fantasy pile and then I'm going to be talking about uh, romance picks and some thriller picks. So the first book that I wanted to share with you all is House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J Maas. This is one of my highly anticipated reads of 2022. It's the sequel of House of Earth and Blood. So it's the second in the Crescent City series. This one's releasing February 15th. I remember reading the first book of the series and really loving the characters, the plot, and also the setting itself after you get through the world building bit because I remember it was a bit slow of the first 100 pages of book one but in the series we are following Bryce Quinlan who is a half a half human. Bryce is intelligent witty and she gets involved in a murder mystery that she really doesn't want to solve but it's been ordered by the government and then she is forced to work with the brooding angel Hunt Athelar who has taken the lead on solving this murder case. So throughout book one we do follow this pair throughout all of Crescent City and exploring the different quarters. One thing reading House of Earth and Blood to remind me of was of the TV show Lucifer because of how there is an enemies to reluctant partners to lovers relationship between Bryce and Hunt and that was really fun to read and I can't wait to see how that uh, unfolds in the second book. So in the sequel, I'm hoping for more action or mysteries being revealed. I want to have more romantic tension between our main pair. And um, House of Sky and Breath is another huge read. It's at around 800 pages. So I do hope to get maybe a vlog review going or like reaction as I read by the end of February. Keep an eye out for that. Um, even though I didn't include this one in my first bi-monthly TBR, I still aim to read and finish House of Sky and Breath before the month ends in February. But to say the least, I am incredibly excited for this one to come out. So my next anticipated fantasy pick is Only a Monster by Vanessa Lynn and this one is releasing February 22nd. It's described as having elements of sweeping romance similar to Passenger and the dark fantasy edge of the Savage Song. Only a Monster is a debut so it is a YA contemporary fantasy and it's the first in a trilogy. 16 year old Joan is spending her summer in London with her late mother's eccentric family and besides that, she's determined to enjoy her summer. Joan gets a job at the historic Holland house and it seems everything's going well, especially when her cute co-worker Nick asks her out on a date. But soon enough, she learns that her eccentric family isn't only strange, but they are monsters with strong magic powers. And also Nick himself is not only just interested in Joan, but he is a monster hunter would stop at nothing to destroy her family. While battling Nick, Joan needs to join forces with a rival monster family, Air Aaron, to save her family. But to do so, she needs to embrace her monstrous side and in the story, she isn't exactly the hero here. So this one sounds super interesting and a really fun new YA debut. So this next book is a also the first book of a new duology and this one's an adult fantasy but it has young adult crossover themes and this one is being released or was released on January 11th. And the book I'm talking about is Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. And this one is inspired by the Chinese legend Shang Er, the Chinese moon goddess. It's about a young woman's quest to free her mother that then has her battling the most powerful immortal in the realm. In this book, we're following Jing Yin, who has lived alone on the moon and she's quite used to that isolation, but she's also be hidden unawares from the celestial empire who exiled her mother for stealing his elixir of immortality. But unfortunately, she is discovered anyways when her magic flares and Jin Yin is forced to flee the moon to hide in the celestial kingdom. And she uses this chance to disguise herself and receive an education in the celestial kingdom 
alongside the emperor's son to learn archery magic and something more when there's chemistry between her and the prince the book then follows jing yin and her quest to save her mother from the emperor and she encounters many challenges along the way i haven't really read many books with chinese mythology but i'm really excited to get to this one so my last fantasy pick is gallants by v e schwab and this one releases on march 1st so i love victoria schwab's writing or v e schwab's writing and I think this one will be right up my alley. Gallant is following Olivia Pryor, who has grown up in the only home she's really known in a boarding school. The only piece of her past that Olivia has is her mother's journal, but her mother's writings has seemed to descend into madness. And a letter arrives at the boarding school for Olivia that invites her back to go home, which is um, known as the Gallant Manor. But once she arrives at the manor, everyone's surprised at her unexpected arrival, but she decides to stay. There are secrets being hidden at the manor and Olivia is determined to discover what they are. And after some investigation, she discovers that the manor is actually haunted by ghouls, fully solid ghouls, and someone is ruling over them all. Olivia has to decide if she should take her place as a prior to protect the world from what may be her father or if she will choose to rule by her father's side. And this one I think will be a really nice fantasy standalone which is quite rare these days but I cannot wait to read it. Okay so that's all the fantasy books I have for now and we're going to move on to romance and thriller books. Okay starting off with the romance books that I have chosen. This one is a contemporary romance book called A Brush With Love by Maisie Eddings and this one's releasing on March 1st. This one sounds fun because it's around a couple's journey while they are in dentistry school. First we have Harper who is waiting for a placement in a top oral surgery residency program and there she bumps into Dan but she doesn't want any distractions no matter how cute this one is. Dan is a first year dental student who comes from a family legacy of dentists and this leads to him not having as strong of a passion of the career as Harper does but he may be falling in love with her. <laughs> so this pair starts off as just friends and that grows into something more as they become closer and feelings grow. However, Harper fears that she may be risking everything that she has worked all her life for. So I really enjoyed this premise because it's a concept of will they won't they romance and it seems like it would be a fun time in dentistry school to read about this. Okay, so this is another contemporary fantasy novel. It is Something Wilder by Christina Warren and this releases on May 17th. This one caught my attention because of the treasure hunter aspect. We have Lily whose absent father Duke is an infamous treasure hunter and Lily doesn't really care for his passions but she isn't doing as well for herself either so she's quite resourceful in terms of gaining money and she uses her father's hand-drawn maps that are quite popular with the tourists and Lily brings the tourists on fake treasure hunts within the Red Rock Canyons in Utah and that is how she makes her income here. It's enough to pay the bills for now but it's not enough to fulfill Lily's long life dream to repurchase the ranch that she grew up on that her father sold. But one day while working her treasure hunting trails, an old flame pops back up and wants to reconnect with her. However, a trip to the canyon goes wrong. Lily and Leo needs to work together to make it out of the canyon safely. And I really like the sound of a second chance romance in a adventurous setting so I think this one will be really fun to read. The first thriller book that I chose is The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. Jane and this releases on March 15th and this one did capture my attention because of the title itself which is the cold cases part and I really like that part of true crime since it's really interesting to see what cases are not being solved or has been unsolved for many years. In this book, we are going back to 1977 in Clara Lake, Oregon. And this area has been shaken by the Lady Killer murders. So two seemingly random men were murdered with the same gun and there were strange notes left behind. Later in 2017, a true crime blogger, Shaya Collins, is interviewing who was the perfect suspect 
of these cold cases. And the suspect is Beth Greer, and she's a 23-year-old eccentric rich woman. Beth was seen fleeing one of the crime scenes, but she was later acquitted of her charges. However, getting this story from Beth herself is making Shea suspicious of Beth of what really happened back then. There's something not right about Beth, and there are strange happenings in Beth's mansion where Shea is conducting the interview, which is with that synopsis. Super excited to see where this thriller leads us. And my last anticipated book is another thriller. It's The Lion Club by Annie Ward. This one releases on March 22nd. So this thriller uh, follows three women who are drawn into a tangled web of revenge, murder, and shocking secrets. So this one is set at an elite private school in the Colorado mountains. First, we have Natalie, an office assistant who dreams of having a rich life like those of the mom she has to interact with. Secondly, we have Brooke who is a gorgeous heiress and she's a ferociously loving mother and serial cheater. Third, we have Asha who is an overprotective mother and who suspects her husband of cheating. And all these three women's fates are bound by one man, the handsome assistant athletic director Nicholas, who Natalie loves, Brooke wants, and Asha needs. One morning, two bodies are carried out of the elite private school and something occurred with these three women and set in a small town that will stop at nothing to get what they desire, murder might just happen. So this description is pretty big and I really like that going to thrillers because then you don't really know what to expect and be kind of shocked and surprised by twists and turns. So these were all my anticipated reads so far of this year. This is not an exhaustive list, so I didn't include every single book that I am excited for, but I just decided to include these ones because I don't think I've heard much about them in other social media platforms, so I just wanted to share them. So I hope you enjoyed watching and comment down below what is one of your anticipated reads for this year. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and ring that notification bell to not miss any future uploads. See you all soon!